that's much better. As you've probably surmised, I own a few musical instruments, and every now and then I like to try my hand at songwriting. And that can range from being frustrating, difficult, to downright exasperating. And I'm by no means a professional at it. Luckily, however, I know some people who are. I didn't know how to write a song, so my mom said, what you really need to do is you need to buckle down, because if you can write just one simple little song, you know, kind of like the one that I wrote for Johnny Cash, Rain of Fire, and I was like, okay, check please. It can be a really frustrating process because there's just not a straight, easy path. If I can remember something the next day after I've messed around with something, then it's usually worth going after. As creators and as artists and as songwriters, I can't make The Sound of Madness three times over. I, I don't want to. I have no interest in doing that. Some people go through stages where they just kind of don't care about it anymore or they're phoning it in and it's not because they're comfortable or complacent. Um, I actually get uncomfortable when I haven't written in a while. I will always write songs. It's just part of my therapy. I remember when I was about 22 years old, I was thinking, I figured the formula out, you know, and it's like, hey man, I got this idea for a song, you know, really, what is it? It's two plus two equals four. I'm like, hey, hey, hold on a minute, wait a minute. You don't want to confuse anybody. One plus one equals two. Okay. There's no formula, um, really, it's just kind of, it comes out different ways. You know, you can have a song like Devour that starts with like an acoustic guitar, which Devour started with an acoustic guitar, which is one of our heaviest songs. Or you can have a song like State of My Head that just starts with a drum beat, you know? So it's it's really different. I mean, some stuff's all about the beat. You know, it doesn't need for whatever hits you, hits you, but we don't ever really think about anything like that. You know, it's just, you know, you, you have a hook, the line comes to you, you know, usually a line will come to me first and then, you know, everything comes around it. Every time you pick up a guitar, any guitar, you hit a chord and there's a song in the guitar. I find I like writing on the piano because I'll go somewhere completely and utterly different than I would go on the guitar, you know. So, you know, on a guitar, if you go from G and you move down, you're in E. If you go from piano, you move to the next major, you're in F, you know. So it's, you go different places. It's always a different way in. Sometimes it takes a lot of trips around the mountain to sort of find the path up, if that makes sense. You have the, the, the germ of the, of the song. Sometimes you just need 20 minutes to finish off. And they're the best ones. You know, it's just a simple little song. Well, those are the ones that last. People can't get them out of their heads. And everybody's had that feeling before. <laughs> it's not one plus one equals two. But, you know. It's not complex physics either, I guess. If you listen to a song like Cut the Chord, I think we've gotten better at writing rock songs. You know, I think that we've, if you listen to a song like Misfits or Thick as Thieves, I think we've gotten better at writing ballads. You know, and I think that that's the main thing. There's certain things that just come, and those are the ones that really, if, if, if it touches me a lot, I want it to touch somebody else. I want to connect. Music is a communication medium. I mean, it's all about people enjoying it on a common basis. So um, that's so important to me. I mean, you know, people that say that they make music strictly for themselves. Well, yes, you've got to make it so that you personally enjoy it. That is very important. But to not want to have the result of people hearing it, right. I think is ludicrous. Mm -hmm.